I'm Alicia Mahill, the Exhibition Development Assistant at the REACH Gallery Museum. I would like to share with you some of the valuable contributions that Punjabi Canadians have made to agriculture in the Fraser Valley. Many immigrants from Punjab are from farming backgrounds, and so it is not surprising that there is a long and successful history of Punjabi farmers in Abbotsford. Punjabi immigrants began arriving at the turn of the 20th century. One of the first Sikh immigrants was Sundar Singh Pandi in 1907. He initially worked at the Abbotsford Lumber Company until he saved up enough money to buy a farm, and he eventually acquired approximately 300 acres. During the late 1930s, when Mennonite immigrants were struggling to establish farms, Sundar Singh offered work to anyone who traveled to his Whatcom Road farm. In this way, he helped many new immigrants settle in the region. Sundar Singh's wife, Mohinder Kaur, took an active role in the farm. She got her driver's license to transport workers, and was also involved with the local Godora, serving as a treasurer of the Khalsa Devan Society for many years. Mohinder Kaur was a community leader and a successful businesswoman at a time when those roles were uncommon for women. Both Sundar Singh and Mohinder Kaur are remembered for their contributions to the community. The 60s and 70s saw an influx of Punjabi immigrants, many of whom became farmers in the region. Peter Thind came in the 1960s and like many other immigrants who dreamed of owning land in the Fraser Valley, first worked in the lumber mills to save up enough money to buy his own farm in 1972. Today, his grandson Kyle continues the family tradition of farming. Darshan Mahill came to Canada in 1971. He worked as a farm laborer until he saved up enough to buy his 50-acre farm in the North Poplar area in 1975. During harvest, the local Punjabi community would come to work on the farms. Often, there was a party to celebrate the conclusion of the berry season, demonstrating how it takes a village to run a farm. Strawberries were the dominant crop in the Fraser Valley until the late 80s and early 90s. Recently, there has been a shift from raspberries to blueberries due to competition from other countries. Also, blueberries are popular because of their health benefits and their suitability to our climate. Blueberries are the primary crop managed by Parman Setwinder Baines, who bought a farm in Abbotsford in 1989 with the intention of making it a family business, founding Westbury Farms in 1995 when they got into berry processing. Today, they are leaders in the BC berry industry, which ranks third in the world for blueberry production. Trade agreements in the 1990s made Californian and Mexican products cheaper than produce grown in BC, a challenge for many local farmers. Nevertheless, newer immigrants continue to take up farming. When Harnake Singh Brar bought a five-acre raspberry farm in the Clearbrook area in 1993, it was with the intention of having enough space for his family's welding business, Matsui Welding and Fabricating. Darshan Nijer came to Abbotsford in 1992 and bought a 30-acre blueberry farm in 2000 to stay close to his family. Many Punjabi immigrants also work as laborers in Abbotsford's farming industries. Mohinder Kaur Talival worked as a berry picker until 2011. For five years, Mohinder was picked up from her home around 5 a.m. and would join a bus full of workers. They picked blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, and beans. There was a sense of community that was built at the farm. Someone would bring sweets to celebrate a birthday, an anniversary, a grandchild's accomplishment, or just to brighten up everyone's day. Farming is often a family business that is dependent on everyone's involvement, whether that be picking berries, running the equipment, or providing food for the laborers. These families have recreated their connection to land and farming here in the Fraser Valley. They have grown remarkable legacies while contributing to the growth and food security of the community at large. I hope you enjoyed this video in support of our Voices of the Valley History Exhibition. This is only a small part of the rich history of Punjabi farmers in Abbotsford. If you would like to share your stories, please contact info at thereach.ca.